Karen, how are you? So the relationships that we're doing today is just not the most positive. The budgets are still being discussed and debated. If you left with Senator Creed, what are your plans to uh, keep the budget on my city moving forward? So the first part of your question was uh, the relationship's not good yeah, with. Well, it doesn't seem to be a very positive one. With who? Senator Creed. Okay. Senator uh, listen, I'm not going to speak to that. That's that's your words, but uh, no, the, the, the Senator Treat's not asked us or showed us any kind of Senate budgets. We've seen them roll that out. We love transparency. Um, I'm asking for a budget before the end of the session so Oklahomans can uh, understand what's happening. We need to get that budget done. I know there's a lot of talk between the House and the Senate right now. And again, big picture, uh, we cannot spend, we've got to spend what our reoccurring revenue is, right? So what is our income? Let's make sure that we don't obligate Oklahomans more than our income, right? So that's one thing. And then we have to maintain a savings account. So we're in a great situation. The economy is booming, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a proponent to, you know, blow through all of our savings. Are there strategic investments we want to make, but let's keep around $5 billion or a little under in our savings side. And then let's strategically invest in things, but let's not raise all these agencies where now we're obligated for more than our actual income is. And that's that's pretty common sense to me. I think Oklahomans agree with me when they sit down at their budget at the end of the year, they're not gonna design their budget to spend more than their income. And so why would I do that as Oklahomans? So as long as the House, the Senate is spending under or right around what our income is, that's really what I'm asking for. Other than that, they have to decide what programs to, to fund and and uh, and then what strategic things should we invest in for the long haul? There's long-term capital planning things. There's some deferred maintenance that we can invest in because our economy is so good and I'm all for that. There's roads and infrastructure and things that we can do one-time investments, but I'm always gonna be very, very uh, on flat budgets or making sure we, we, we stay right around what our income is.